everyone, so I hope you are well and having the most incredible day as always. Today I'm coming at you with a Lush video, what a surprise, but this one is a little bit different because I'm going to be going through all of the products that I want to completely use up and get rid of within the year of 2018. Now I know that sounds really weird because you know I buy Lush stuff all the time, but it's getting to the point now where I have so much stuff I don't know what to do with it. So these products are things which I've started to use, maybe not use that often, or I maybe used once and then got rid of, and I just want to get them gone because I'm fed up of having all this stuff in my bathroom. So without further ado, I am going to go through all the things that I want to use up this year and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So firstly, I'm going to start off with face masks and I actually have four of them to show you. So all four of these face masks have been half used and basically not finished. So I really want to get these absolutely gone by the end of the year. The first one is the cup of coffee face mask, which you guys know I absolutely love and I use this all the time, but I have been using my jelly face masks more so I have pretty much got a whole pot of this left and I absolutely love the smell it's so lovely and obviously I love coffee so you know I'm gonna love this kind of thing um, but I really want to get this used up because I don't want it to go out of date before I finish using it because for skincare it's kind of gross so I really want to use this one up ASAP but I do use it on my body as well as my face so I'm hoping this will be gone within the next few months. Next up we have my jelly face masks and I have three of them and I really want to finish all three of these within the next few months so the first one is the just to clarify jelly face mask which looks like this and it doesn't look like I've used a lot of this but I've used it about four to five times now but oh it just smells incredible it's got a really fine exfoliant in it and it smells kind of like passion fruity tropical juice kind of smell and it's so so nice and my skin loves this stuff but I just find that with all my other face masks I have I just don't get through them really quickly so I'm hoping to get through this one ASAP because I have a lot of stuff to get through this year and I'm starting to look at it and realise I'm a bit of an idiot and I have too much Lush stuff. Next up is the 1000 Milli Helens face mask. This is the one I've used the most of um, because I absolutely love it for my skin. It smells really good and clean and I absolutely love this one. This one's really good for when you have breakouts and spots and stuff but I tend to use this one on a like weekly basis. I just really love it and if you've not tried the jelly face masks yet you need to get your hands on them because they are so so good. And lastly in terms of face masks I have the Birth of Venus again which is one of the jelly face masks and I've used quite a bit of this one. This one has a really beautiful relaxing kind of fragrance so I really like this if I'm having a bath and I just need like an hour of peace and quiet after a stressful day at work or something um, I tend to go for this one but again I absolutely love the jelly face masks I think they are my absolute favorite face mask ever so I'm a real big fan of these and I really need to finish using these up because I don't want them to go out of date do you know what I mean? It's kind of gross if they go out of date. Sticking with the jelly theme, I have three shower jellies that I really need to use up this year because they've been in my shower for probably a year now and I've still not finished them. I just don't really tend to touch them that often so I'm hoping to get these ones gone within the year. The first one is the Needles and Pines and this one I do really love. I absolutely love this fragrance. They don't make this anymore which is really sad but oh it's just so good. As you can see I have used quite a bit of it and that is leaking all over my hands and now that's everywhere. This one has a really fresh and sort of earthy smell to it but it's almost like sharp like a, imagine like a really sour sweet that's kind of what it smells like and I absolutely love this one it's at one of my all-time favorites but I don't believe you can get this one anymore I'm not even sure if you can get it in Oxford Street so you're gonna have to let me know and I do excuse the state of these they've been in my shower so they look disgusting next up we have the Santa's belly shower jelly and again this looks absolutely gross it's just covered in soap basically so it's nothing disgusting but it doesn't look the best but this one smells divine this smells like so white so it smells like fresh crisp apples and I absolutely love this one. This one is literally from 2016 so I need to use this up real soon because uh, it does go out of date within the next week and a half so I need to use this up ASAP because I don't want it to go out of date but this one smells delicious honestly I could eat it but obviously it's soap so you don't want to go eating that. <laughs> and finally for shower jellies we have Nightwing and again this one just looks gross because it's been in the shower but 
It's a really lovely, vibrant, purpley blue colour, and this one smells like lemon fruit pastels and lime fruit pastels. It's so good and so fresh but I honestly never gravitate towards these anymore but I really need to start using them because again I don't want them to go out of date whilst I'm using them but the shower jellies I do really like when I use them I just forget that I have them and I always tend to grab a shower gel instead so I really need to start using those ones more I think because again I don't want them to go out of date so I'm gonna have very much shower jelly and face mask jelly filled showers and baths in the next few months I think. Shower gel wise I actually have three of them to show you and they're all near enough gone kind of like a lot of them are about not even half full anymore so I do want to use these up within the next couple months again. The first one is the twilight shower gel as you can see there is near to nothing left in this pot so this is going to be gone within the next shower so I don't need to worry about this one too much but as you guys know Twilight is one of my all time favourite fragrances um, I always use this when I go to Disneyland Paris and the smell just reminds me of being in Disney so I absolutely love it for that reason but again if you've not tried this somehow get your hands on it because it's the best shower gel ever apart from Plum Rain because as you guys know that is my bae. Next up we have some Snow Fairy and that entirety of the label has disappeared so I have no idea when this was from um, but I have this much left so I do need to use this up. I really do like Snow Fairy but for some reason after I've used it a few times I just get a little bit bored of it to be honest so I tend to grab other things like Twilight or something a little bit different but I do need to use this up because this has been in my shower for a very long time. And finally for shower gels I have the It's Raining Men shower gel and it's not full it's actually about probably about halfway now I just tipped it by accident so it's a little bit everywhere uh, but this one doesn't go out of date until April this year so I've got a little bit more time to use this one uh, but this one is a really lovely fresh honey fragrance it smells beautiful um, but it's just quite sickly so I don't use it all the time because I feel like if I use it all the time I get fed up with the smell and I don't really like it so I use this mainly kind of once a week or so just to kind of use it up but um, again I do need to use this because it is going to go out of date very soon and it is very nice but it's not something I could use all the time if you know what I mean. The next two products that I want to use up this year are roulades or roulades or whatever you call them. So the first one was some of the Yognog roulade which is literally the smallest little slither left but it still smells incredible. It's so sweet. It smells like caramel and toffee and it's so moisturising. Like even just holding it is literally slipping my fingers. So this one again is going to be gone within the next few washes. So I don't really need to worry about that one. But I do have another one that I really want to use up and that is this one. So this is the candy cane roulade. So this is a little piece um, that I have left of it. And it's about that big so it's reasonably sized. It's going to last me a few washes but... This one smells divine as well, it smells like peppermint, so really sweet and really fresh, so a really nice one to use in the mornings. I tend to shower in the evenings anyway, but if I ever do shower in the mornings, that is the one that I tend to grab because it just wakes me up and it's nice and fresh. Similarly with the roulades, I have a few soaps that I want to use up, so the first one is this. This is a piece of the, what is it called? Salted caramel soap, that was it, so there's a little chunk of that, but it just doesn't tend to like go down at all. I, for some reason I feel like I'm constantly using this and it doesn't change shape but this one smells really lovely and really sweet as well so I love this one. Then I have a piece of this. Now this soap came out for Valentine's Day last year and smells like roses. It smells so good and I have a tiny little chunk left so this one hasn't gone down at all really. It's one of those soaps that just doesn't seem to get any smaller but I have been using this and I am trying to use this one up. And lastly for soaps I have a little piece of the Outback Mate soap which Outback Mate was one of my all time favourites. It's just so lovely and fresh and really minty and I just really like it. So this one I tend to keep in the bathroom a lot because it just it's a nice fresh scent to wash your hands with so I really love this one and it looks really pretty as well. I have one shampoo that I really want to use up this year and that is the Curly Whirly Shampoo. Now this product I really love but I find that I only use it maybe once or twice a week if that. I don't really wash my hair that often to be honest so maybe once a month or so I guess. Um, but this one is a coconut shampoo so it's really moisturising as you can see. I have used this so many times but for some reason it never gets any smaller so I don't know what that's about so I'm really hoping to finish this this year um, as it does go out of date very soon again so I do need to use this up ASAP. I do like it, it makes my hair nice and soft and because my hair is naturally curly it really helps with the curls but I don't like the chunks of coconut in it because it kind of goes everywhere so I'm kind of like 50-50 on this product but I do really like it and I need to finish this ASAP. And last but definitely not least is the Sleepy Body Lotion. Now I've had this pot since 2016 so it's probably well past its expiry date but it smells and looks 
absolutely fine. I just find that with the Sleepy Body Lotion you need a tiny, tiny bit and it goes a really long way. So that's why I really feel like I don't go through these that often. Um, but I do absolutely love this moisturiser and it's so nice before bed. Helps me sleep really well and I really love it. So again, if you've not ever tried this product, please do. But I really need to finish this this year. I can't get my words out. Need to finish this this year. Yes. So those are all of the Lush products I really want to finish this year because I just have so much Lush stuff but I really want to start getting through my collection and kind of using up all the good stuff when it's still really good because I'm finding at the moment with bath bombs and stuff like that I'm putting them in the water and they don't really do very much because I've had them for such a long time so fingers crossed I can get through all of this stuff. I am planning to do a Lush collection, it will come I promise but I am doing it in sort of categories now so I think that's what I'm going to do so I do want to film a bath bomb and bubble bar one so that will be coming very soon let me know in the comments if you'd like to see it but that is kind of in the works it's just going to take me a very long time to film so I need to kind of do it on a day where I've got nothing else to do and I can sit down and film that properly for you I hope you guys are having a fantastic day don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also don't forget to subscribe if you're not already because I would love to have you on my channel and I just really appreciate you guys so much so please subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in my next video bye guys